Review questions 1. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that convert raw data into meaningful information. It is controlled by programmed instructions which give the machine purpose what to do. It has two basic parts, hardware and software. The computer has ability to accept data, input from user, process it and then produce outputs. Computers can also store data and retrieve whenever it is necessary. Computer is used in every field of life. To explain in a few of the different ways in which computers can be categorized, there are various ways to categorize the computers. Some of them are given below. 1. Used by one or various person at a time. 2. Speed at which computers operate. 3. Types of hardware that is used in computers. 4. Place where computers are used. 5. Types of software that are used by the computers. 6. Task that a computer performs. 3. List 6 types of computers that are designed for use by a single person. Following is a list of computers that are used by single person. 1. Desktop computers. 2. Workstations. Page 10 of 150. 3. Notebook computers. 4. Tablet computers. 5. Handheld computers. 6. Smartphones. 4. Describe the two common designs for desktop computers. There are two common designs for desktop computers. 1. Horizontal Oriented System Unit The horizontal oriented system unit lie flat on the top of user desk. 2. Vertical Oriented Tower Models The vertical oriented tower models place next to desk or under the desk. 5. How much do notebook computers typically weigh? The notebook computers generally weigh less than 8 pounds and some even weigh less than 3 pounds. The shape of notebook computers is 8.5 by 11 inch notebook and easily fit inside a briefcase. 6. List 4 types of computers that are designed for use by organizations and are commonly used by multiple people at the same time. There are four types of computers that are designed for use by organizations and are commonly used by multiple people at the same time. The names of these computers is given below. 1. Network Servers 2. Mainframe Computer 3. Mini Computer 4. Supercomputer. 7. Why are mainframe systems usually limited in the number of tasks they perform? The mainframe systems offer power, but they lack flexibility. Most of mainframe systems are designed to perform only a specific task. For example, in Department of Motor Vehicles, a mainframe system is probability devoted to store information about the drivers, vehicles, and licenses. By limiting the number of tasks the system must perform, the system preserves as much power as possible for required operations. 8. What is the most popular use for home computers? Some popular use of home computer is given below. Home computer is used for 1. Communication 2. Business work at home 3. School work at home 4. Entertainment 5. Finance. 9. How are computer technologies used by the military? Some of the world's most sophisticated computer technology has been developed primary for use by military. Earlier digital computers created for such purpose as calculating the trajectory of the missiles. Page 11 of 150. Which are being used by military? Weapon control is done by using computers. 
Armed forces used wide array of computer hardware and software for military operations. 10. How are computer technologies being used to train surgeons? Now, surgeons can use robotic surgical devices to perform delicate operation and even to conduct surgeries remotely. Now, virtual reality technologies are being used to train new surgeons in cutting edges techniques without cutting actual patients. All of these are use computer technologies which are being used to train surgeons. 11. How are analog computers different from digital computers? Analog and digital computers differ in many respects, but the most important distinction is the way they represent data. Digital systems represent data as having one distinct value or another with no other possibilities. Analog systems, however, represent data as variable points along a continuous spectrum of values. This makes analog computers somewhat more flexible than digital ones, but not necessarily more precise or reliable. Early analog computers were mechanical devices, weighing several tons and using motors and gears to perform calculations. A more manageable type of analog computer is the old-fashioned slide rule. 12. What is a workstation? Write down its features. A workstation is a specialized, single-user computer that typically has more power and features than a standard desktop PC. These machines are popular among scientists, engineers, and animators who need a system with greater than average speed and the power to perform sophisticated tasks. Workstations often have large, high-resolution monitors and accelerated graphics handling capabilities making them suitable for advanced architectural or engineering design, modeling, animation, and video editing. 13. How does a dumb terminal differ from an intelligent terminal? A dumb terminal does not process or store data. It is simply an input-output, I.O., device that functions as a window into a computer located somewhere else. An intelligent terminal can perform some processing operations, but it usually does not have any storage. In some mainframe environments, however, workers can use a standard personal computer to access the mainframe. 14. What is a mid-range computer? Why is it called so? Many computers got their name because of their small size compared to other computers of the day. The capabilities of a mini computer are somewhere between those of mainframes and personal computers. For this reason, mini computers are often called mid range computers. 15. How is computer technology used in education? More and more schools are adding computer technology to their curricula, not only teaching pure computer skills but incorporating those skills into other classes. Students may be required to use a drawing program, for example, to draw a plan of the ELMO for a history class, or use spreadsheet software to analyze voter turnouts during the last century's presidential elections. Educators see computer technology as an essential learning requirement for all students, starting as early as preschool. Even now, basic computing skills such as keyboarding are being taught in elementary school classes. In the near future, high school graduates will enter college not only with a Page 12 of 150 General Diploma but with a certification that proves their skills in some area of computing, such as networking or programming.